Obesity rates severely increased between 1990 and 2022 while rates of underweight people decreased in most countries, according to a new study, and the researchers believe access to more nutritious foods is the key to simultaneously decreasing obesity while tackling the remaining rates of underweight. Obesity and underweight are both forms of malnutrition, according to the World Health Organization. Climate change, the COVID pandemic and the war in Ukraine could potentially be causing a rise in malnutrition, by increasing poverty and the cost of nutrient-rich foods. Guha Pradipa, study co-author from the Madras Diabetes Research Foundation, said in a statement. The study researchers believe increasing access to nutrient-rich foods is needed to address the remaining underweight numbers while tackling the rise in obesity. The combined prevalence of both forms of malnutrition has increased in most countries, with the exception of some sub-Saharan African and South and Southeast Asian countries, mainly driven by the global rise in obesity, according to the Lancet study's authors. Both forms of malnutrition have detrimental effects on health. Being overweight or obese increases risk of death, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, stroke, high cholesterol, several types of cancers, coronary heart disease, sleep apnea, gallbladder disease and mental health issues like depression and anxiety. Being underweight increases the risk of bone less, delayed wound healing, nutrient deficiencies, anemia, heart irregularities, bone vessel disease and the loss of periods, troubles getting pregnant, depression and osteoporosis in women.1 billion. That's how many people globally were living with obesity in 2022, according to the Lancet paper. That's 879 million adults, and 159 million children. The number of adults who were underweight dropped by more than 50% in the same time frame. The number of underweight girls fell by about 20% and underweight boys fell by around 33%, according to the study. Eritrea and Timor-Leste had the highest rates of underweight women, and Ethiopia and Eritrea had the highest rates of underweight men, totaling 20% of the adult populations in each country. Countries with the highest prevalence of underweight girls were India and Sri Lanka and India, and Niger for boys, where over 15% of children lived with obesity. Getting back on track to meet the global targets for curbing obesity will take the work of governments and communities, supported by evidence-based policies from WHO and national public health agencies, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, WHO Director General, said in a statement. Importantly, it requires the cooperation of the private sector, which must be accountable for the health impacts of their products. Though research is limited, there have been theories that the COVID pandemic worsened obesity.